Good evening everybody, my name's Gavin Kelly from GLK Academies. We are now doing another topic today and it is basically tennis. We love tennis, we can either do it outdoors and indoors. And what we're gonna try and do tonight in this nice little area that we got, we call the conservatory, we are gonna take a tennis session on. Not a full tennis session because we do have ornaments around and lights, but this is gonna be a great session. I'm just gonna bring in my special guest again. I'm gonna bring in Maisie, my daughter, Maisie Kelly. She comes and stands with me here. She's gonna be one of my helpers tonight. And my apprentice, Harvey. They are both gonna be um, working with the rackets tonight, working with their footwork, and actually doing the great tennis seconds, ain't you? Elbow, bar, bar spoon. I'm ready. Okay, well, I'm Harvey from GLK, I'm gonna do the warm-up for this video. All I want you to do, Maisie, is first, stand at the top. All you're gonna do, a gentle jog to the end, and back, do that five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Keep going. One more. And then a little walk back. Good. This time, what I want you to do, you're going to do some skipping like this, all the way to the end. Do that four times. Good. Good. Keep going. Make Can sure I just say one thing? Can I just say one thing for? We 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 um, carry on. Just remember, you may have to half these because some people don't have massive living rooms or massive uh, flats. They just have enough room just to have a little bit of half of a trot. So that's all I'm saying. But unbelievable warm ups, Harvey. Keep going. Good girl, Macy. And uh, stop there. This time, I want you to do high knees to the end. Like Gavin said, if you have to use half the space, use half the space. And then you can do it like double the reps. So if um, you didn't have all this space, you just double the reps. So you do it ten times or five times or whatever. Brilliant, yeah. Harvey. Yeah, brilliant. Keep going. Good. And stop that. This time, I want you to do the heel flips like this. All the way to the end, but straight. So like this. That's it. Good. And turn and back. That's it. Good girl. Keep going. One more time, and back. Good girl. Right, this time, this might help. So, in like this, all the way to the end, and back. Okay, but that, you can just do one time, so there and back, okay? Good girl. Try and get them nice and high. So if you're struggling, try and get them nice and high. That's it, and the last one, I just want you to get the crankies out, like this. Okay, ready? And then, we'll do some stretching. Keep going. Good girl. Right, for the stretching, what I want you to do, hands up like this, touch your toes. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. And one more time, touch your toes. Good, this time, because we're doing tennis, arms like this. And swap. Do a bit of dance if you want. Do a bit of dance. Yeah. And then this time, what you're going to do, arms out in front, out like this, push it out as far as you can. And then up. And back. Right. Now we're going to get the moving. So circles round. Look at yours. How tight yours are. Then mine are out wide. And forward. And Maisie, I'm going to let you do this one. One arm forward, one arm back. Go. Look at that. Top quality stuff, Maisie. And then, next stretch, get the hips. Round like this. Most kids will know this is the Gavin Disco dance. We love that one. We love that one. That's the big one there. So keep going. Can you feel that, Maisie? Yeah. Is it hard or is it all right? Um, kind of. Kind of? Yeah. Kind of. And up away. Movement's a bit stiffer that way. Awkward. 
Come back. Out in front. Like this. Lean it back. And back like this. Good. Shake off. And that is the warm up. Okay, my first room now with um, getting to move the feet for tennis is basically what I've got is I've got um, a load of drums set up here and what, what they're for, they are to make you move side to side first and then we progress it into side to side, forwards and backwards, implicating what a tennis player would do when they're playing on the pitch. All right, so what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna I've set them both up with Maisie and Harvey. So side to side first, off you go. Just side to side. Just side to side. Brilliant. Keep going, holding your hands together. Good. Okay. Just keep going, stretching our legs out. Now the reason for this is, as I said, this is basically getting their feet movement. It's a very, very good thing because it makes the cast Burn, and it makes the legs loose. Now, what I'm going to do now, exactly. I'm, what I'm going to do is now we're going to go forwards, go forwards, forwards like this. to the white cone and back, go yeah, side, to side to side. When I shout it out again, forwards, go back, but stop there. What you don't want to do is go to the same cone all the time. So what we need to make sure, instead of going to the red or the blue all the time, when we come off the white cones, we can either go yellow or red. Have we got that? Yeah. Go. <clears throat> Brilliant. Keep going. Good. You can loosen them hands a bit. Loosen your hands a little bit. Good. Forwards. Back. Go. Keep going. Side to side. Brilliant. Forwards. Back. Good. Remember to do different codes when you're coming back. Forwards. Back. Well done. Keep going. Forwards. Back. And stop there. So, what that done, what that has done is basically got a moving side to side, coming forwards and coming back like you would do as a tennis player. Alright? And it's so good for the calves and it makes all of the body nice and warm. Okay, after that, that first session, now I progress with two, with two cones. So Harvey will have a cone and Maisie will have a cone. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna show you now what I want them to do with a cone, which is illustrating what they would do with a racket. There we go, Harvey. Thank you. There we go, Maisie. So, are we ready? Yeah. All right, so. First session, go. Side to side. Side to side. Good. Side to side. Keep going. Good. Good. Keep going. Feet. Good. Keep going. Remember to get that knee, get that cross your body. Go. Good. Keep going. Good. Under there, across the waist. Go. Keep going. Good. Well done. That's brilliant. Keep it going. Feel on your toes, as you're going along, you're on them toes. You're moving your feet, using the calves. And forwards. Drive over the neck, good, keep going. And again, good, good. Forwards, drive over the neck, go, good. Good, keep going, it's fantastic. Brilliant. Keep going, good. Using that hand and trying to get the length of the hand and the arm to get that ball over the neck. And forward. And stop there. So what we've done there, we've basically done a, a, a tennis match without the ball. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring the ball in with Harvey and Maisie, and then I will show you the next move on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, after the last session, we just used the cone to, to illustrate the game. But what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna use the ball. So the ball is gonna be used with the cone to actually make the ball look like you're using a tennis racket. I am going to introduce you my new little star now. It's May. she's gonna come in and work with Maisie with the ball. The drill has already been shown, I've demonstrated to them just before, so hopefully they should know what they're doing. Remember girls, it's always good to be on your toes, and with this one, you've got to make sure you catch the cone. 
Catch the ball in the cone, sorry. There we go. It's made. Side to side, relax, just relax. Go, that's it. Side to side, go. That's it, good. Good, relax, that's it. Keep going, good. Middle, go. When you're done, middle. Good, now step back. Middle, go. Push it over, good. Side to side. Okay, keep going. Good. Okay, good. And well done. Keep going, last you. Good. Well done. And stop there. Good. So, well done, goals. So, that again is just showing moving the side, feet to feet, holding the cone, coming down middle to slam, side to side to play with your left or play with your right. Okay? Absolutely amazing. Well done, girls. Let's move on to the next one. So what we've done now, we've used the feet, and then we've progressed into a kick with the cones, and then we've progressed by using the ball. Now we get to the proper sides of tennis, which is the tennis racket. The tennis racket is the one that you actually play the main game with, that scores you points, that makes you work. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is I'm gonna pass you over to Harvey. Harvey's gonna show you a few drills, just um, keeping the ball, uh, bouncing the ball and keeping it on his racket and basically just doing the sort of tennis uh, drills to get the racket moving in his hand. Right, are you ready? So all we're going to do to start off with is just a simple hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce. See how many of them you can do. Keep going. You can get it even higher like that. And then you can progress it, so without the bounce, just hitting it like this. Little rallies like this, by itself. Nice and easy to do alone. You can get it even higher, but if it, it goes too high, you've got to watch for the ceiling, because if it's hitting the ceiling, then it's not good, because you've got lights, you've got everything, you've got all the objects in the house that you don't want to hit. And mum and dad will not be happy if you break their £120,000 bars. I know my parents won't anyway get out, so that's no, not good. So keep go. it nice and controlled. If it does go high, catch it, and then restart. Right, Maisie, come on over. I'm going to show you some drills. So, what we're going to do is just to start off with, hit, and bounce, like I was doing to start off with. Nice and controlled, that's it. Right, amazing, keep it nice and controlled, keep going. Good go. Do not hit it, do not hit the camera like it. Right. <laughs> hey, you're going back over here, amazing. Good, right now, I want to see how good you are. I just walk around like this. Just get your balance, so you know that your back, tennis racket, is straight, okay? Because you don't want it to be like this, and it's going to fall off, okay? So, keep it nice and straight so it balances, and then pick it up, pick your ball up, and all we're going to do, just nice control. Good. Come in the open. Come in the open, then. That's it. Come in the open. Good girl. Good. See? Keep going. Don't panic. It's all right. It's amazing. Look where you went from there. You know how I said when we were balancing it, keep it nice and straight. You're, when you're hitting it, you're hitting it like this, and it's coming to you. So keep it nice and straight, out. Like this. And if, if you can keep doing this many times, you'll get better and better. So if you do get better, you can throw in a few tricks like this, or like this. Okay, just keeping it nice and controlled, all right? Keep going, Maisie. Keep going, good girl, that's better. But remember, Maisie, do not get it too high because your parents won't be happy, will they? Will you be happy, Gavin, to hit something? Will not be happy. Good, and over to you, Gav, coming back over. Okay, so my, my way with tennis is, is, you know, it is all about control. When, you, when, when you're doing tennis, it's not about if your racket's angled that way, the ball's going to go that way. If the racket's angled that way, the ball will go that way. And if you want to hit a straight shot, your racket's got to be straight with, you, with your guiding leg, letting the ball go. Now, what you need to remember and all is 
not everyone can can hit the ball. Not everyone can do do it in this kind of space. You you know, some people don't have half this space. Just remember, right? Yeah, you can even do it into tight little spaces, and you can still play a really nice game. So well done to Harvey, amazing. Now we're going to get into a little game to show us where we go next. Well done. Now we're getting into the game. We're right into the game now, so. I'm not asking you to come into your living room and start doing a Boris Becker, you know, and smashing it, or, or you know, it's uh, Fedra, not Boris Becker, because half of you young kids don't even know about Boris Becker. Andy Murray. But Andy Murray, Roger Federer, you've just got to make sure now, with the court I've set up, I've put a, le a load of cans down the middle. Or pillows. Or pillows, whatever you've got. And all you're going to do is you're going to have a one bounce rally. The one that misses the ball gets the, um, loses the points, okay? Now this is a lovely little game. You can take it up to 10. You can play three sets, two sets, whatever time, outside or inside. So I'm gonna leave it over to Harvey now. Harvey and Esme, which are brother and sister, see who's gonna win. Let's go. Right, ready? So, Esme, I'll let you start off. Not remember to do it under arm, okay? So there you go, pick the ball up and you start. Go. Good. Other arm. Brilliant. Jesus. What is that? She's trying to destroy me. She is. <laughs> oh, it's three times first point. Oh, damn it. Well done, Esme. She's trying to destroy me. Right, let's go. It's your side. I'll Ready? Right, ready? Oh, two real twins, mate. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take this up to five. So two nil. Oh, first service. Remember, you can have two first. Oh, that is three nil twins, mate. Big oh, time. Oh, big time. I'm just going to beat my sister. That's it. No, Go. Good. Yeah, my point. That's point to Harvey. Three one. He's going to win. Get up. Good. Brilliant, you see? Excellent. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Right, so remember that. If you look at that, that was such a cool little, uh, a cool little rally. So the more rallies, the, the better you can get. If you can still knock it around, keep going and going and going until someone loses concentration and they get that point. Esme and Harvey, that's a great way to do it. We go for the second set. I'm going to give the first game to Esme. Can Harvey pull it back? Right, ready? This is the second set now. Let's go, Esme. I see who wins this one. I won't be happy with you, dude. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Esme, you win that point. Oh, oh, it falls over on the line of code. Harvey, what should we do when we play in tennis? We have to make sure the air is clear. That's the truth. Otherwise, what happens, Harvey? Well, I slip all the way up myself and I lose <laughs> the point. Even more important. Come Bring on. Up. Let's go. One nil times we have to start. Let's go. Yes, Harvey. One, one. Oh, I'll give it that one, two, one. Oh, I'm on it again. I'm the judge. Take care with the Tennis Federation. My point. Yep. Oh, that's a great shot. Ah, oh, that's your point, Harvey. What's that, three, two? Three, two. Last point? No. So no, up five. to five. Oh, well, that's your, no, that's your point, Harvey. My point, four, two. Yeah. Last serve, ready? Yeah. Up this, it's a very technical serve, I can get a bit of spin on it. Oh, oh, 
I will give Harvey that game. So, 1-1. One, one. So, we're going to go now. Swap ends. Swap ends. Here we go. Last game, Lavo. Last game. Swap ends. Ready, Here we go. Go. Here we go. Swap ends. Good. Right, ah, uh, point to Harvey. Ah, oh, here we go. Ready? Oh, point to Harvey. Come on, let's nice. have a nice. fight. Can Harvey come back from the depths to take his, his third? Oh, it's a good one, he's free now. Come on, come back, come on. Oh, first service. Let's start again. Let's go. Now let's be on the close. Oh. Yes, four. Keep going, Ez. Let's go. Ah, uh, uh, well done. Shake hands over the right. No, no hands. Elbows. Oh, well. You can just yes. do it with your tennis balls. No. So, okay, so, you two come in with me. Right, so, what have we used today, in today's ball? what have we used in the session? What actually, what have we used? So what have we used to do the session, what? Cones. Yeah. So we can change your cones into shoes, you can use different socks, uh, pillows, you got everything. You can a compromise. Yes. But what else have we, where, where have we took which? So basically today what we've done, we've gone from just basic footwork. Yeah, basic warm up. Yeah, basic warm up. Then we've gone into um, sessions with a cone. Then we've brought in the cone for a, for, a, for a racket. And then we've brought the ball in. And then we've finished with an amazing game at Wimbledon GLK. His mate was absolutely going to win it, I thought, and then Harvey comes back brilliant. Now, just remember, as I said, not everyone's going to have this size of room, what they've got, what we've got here. But we're here, this is great fun. We can, like, now we're on lockdown, we can do it outside, we can do it inside. It's so much fun to play with your parents, your sisters, your brothers. It's unbelievable. So keep this sport up, keep the hard work going. As I said to you before, we will beat this disease, we will come out healthier, and by the time September, October comes around, we'll be all be fighting fit because we've done everything we needed to do, why indoors or outside in our back gardens. I want to say goodbye from Harvey. Goodbye, and I can't, can I just say that when you're having rivalry with a family member, it makes it much more interesting. So over all of our videos you've seen, you've got loads of different ones, and it's just great to see how you can have competitions against your brother, your sister, your mum, your dad, like even mum against dad or uh, dad against brother, whoever you live with, it's just great fun to have. Thanks to you. Oh, it's Esme. Esme, what have you got to say? Have you enjoyed today? Yeah. Yeah, did you win the Wimbledon tournament? Yeah. Okay, so from this sports uh, arena and Sky News, we're out and in. Go on, on. see you later. Well done. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe to GLK Academies. Yeah!